as you see, feeling free. And here's the poem, the rainbow poem. is There's a poem line that's kind of, that I uh, use a lot, that's kind of the unofficial official rainbow poem of how it, how it works around here in these camps, around these fires, up and down these paths. It works this way. But take what you need, give what you can, where you can, when you can, however you can. In other words, lend a hand. And what happens then? Strangers become friends. Friends become family. Family becomes community. And community on the move. Now that's what I call the movement. Conscious person which makes all lives the rest on two levels at once. This level, and then he could call the soul level. And the soul level watches this level. Like when I when I had my stroke, the pain was so hard that it pushed me up to the soul but watching because the watcher doesn't didn't experience the pain. I can meet any set of eyes in this place and we will witness together what we are experiencing. So I had experience of total alienation and running into a lot of angry people in my first few days to total love, which was really good to have, where not even being on any drugs, just experiencing real love, where we could actually get in a circle and hug each other, which I don't really do every day. I think I had to experience that negativity to break through. See, that was probably something in me that had to get shook out. It doesn't matter what you believe in, where you come from, where your faith is. As long as you know you're part of the human family. Rainbow is a, a, a taste, a touch, a, a feel, a moment of, of feeling ultimately in unity with one another, where I think we all truly in heart and mind would like to be. And I think this is a place where we can come together and the more people that come together with a common prayer, the more opportunity for those waves and those ripples to reach out to the whole. So I just, uh, I look for that essence in the human spirit and this is the place to find it. To really be like the shamans of all of the tribes of the world who are able to channel down the unified vision of the one and the only one before any separation because what are we trying to do we're trying to get back to the garden we're trying to get to that place where we know the world we know God the way Adam and Eve knew before they ate before they ate that's where we're working to get to and this place unknowingly and knowingly 
is a reflection of that hunger that the Creator put us deep inside to get back to that place. Things get put in balance here. Because in the world of extreme sadness, there needs to be, for some period of time, a place of extreme joy. And in a place where, in a world where there's extreme abuse happening, there needs to be a place where there's extreme healing happening. And one good act balances out a whole hell of a lot of evil acts. We never know. We never know. So why do I come here? How can I not? How can I not? I'd see people crying out. They're just flailing. They're like a child, fresh from the womb. Just they, they want this connectivity, you know? And most people, you know, we're all removed. I think we're all removed. And when we take the first step of saying we're all removed, then that brings us together. And I've seen a lot of, a lot of coming together. I've seen a lot of sharing. And I think that's healthy, especially in this day and age. Right now everybody is starting to circle out on Main Circle and they're praying for silence, or they're, they're having a silence, which is a prayer for world peace. And all the children come together and we get all done up. And when the parade gets ready, we all come whooping and hollering out and break the silence and then everybody comes in and rushes into the middle and there's drumming and everyone's crying and laughing and singing. And that's today. I still haven't figured out how we're going to do it, but right now we got to meet once a year and get acquainted with one another, and uh, you know, so we recognize who we who we are. You know, when we see each other out there and we nod and we wink, we know who we are.